Today I am making score bar trifle. This is a favorite dessert I make when hosting family gatherings. It serves a lot of people and it's a frequent request for my kids. I thought I would show you first how to assemble this trifle. First into individual servings for a dinner party, but usually when I am hosting a large group, I serve it in a trifle bowl as shown. After assembling, I will show you how to make the chocolate cake, the butter crunch toffee, the chocolate pudding, and the whipped cream. When I am in a pinch and just don't have the time, this is also an excellent dessert to make because you can just purchase a box cake, the chocolate pudding, and score toffee bars and just assemble it. But of course, making it homemade is even more impressive and delicious. This is the easiest chocolate cake recipe I know, but it is so moist and delicious. All you need to do is stir together the wet ingredients first, and then sift together all the dry ingredients. And add to the liquid and beat for one minute. You can always hand mix this batter as I did here, but usually I beat it for one minute on medium speed with an electric mixer. Butter crunch toffee. Well, what can I say? I have a hard time staying away from this delicious buttery toffee. I often make a butter crunch bark and cover it with chocolate and almonds. I do have a shorts video showing how I do this. For the trifle, melt your butter and brown sugar in a nonstick pan and continuously stir on medium heat until the mixture is a deep amber color. There is a sweet spot here and it will burn quickly, so keep an eye on it and take off immediately when it's ready. Pour into a prepared pan and when cooled, cut into small pieces. Store in an airtight container. Chocolate pudding. I know you can buy chocolate pudding, but homemade is just so much better. First, mix together the egg yolks, cornstarch, and half a cup of the milk. Then in another pot, mix the rest of the milk, sugar, cocoa powder, and salt. And stir on medium heat until just under the boil. Continuously stir your mixture on medium-low heat to prevent burning. Next, add the mixture to your egg yolk mixture very slowly as you're stirring continuously as you do not want to scramble your eggs. When the mixture comes to a boil, continue stirring for one minute to thicken. Take off the stove, add your vanilla, and that's it. So easy and delicious. I prefer to make my own whipped cream by adding sugar and vanilla to heavy cream. Whip on high speed until soft peaks form. I hope you enjoyed watching today on how to make one of my family's favorite recipes. Please subscribe for future videos on chocolate techniques and desserts.